In this video, we are going to see how to install Hadoop in Windows 10 or 11. Here are the steps to install and run a sample program. I will share all these steps in the description. So first of all, we will need to download Hadoop, Java and WinUtils. Once we are done with that, we need to set the system variables, set the path, then we need to update some of the Hadoop configuration files like HDFS site, core site, map site, and yarn site.xml files. After that, we'll run Hadoop and then we will compile and try to execute one of the sample programs called word count. So let's start by downloading all the required software. Copy the link from the description and try to download all the required software. So let's first start downloading Hadoop. So I am using the version 2.9.2 .2 as an example. Higher, you can also try higher versions. Download this file. So you, either you can right click and uh, click on save link as, or you can directly click on the link to save it. So I have already downloaded it. Finally, download Java. The version of Java I am using is Open JDK 11. So that is compatible with 2.9. Here you need to select the Java version, the operating system, the architecture and the package. So we need to select JDK here. Once done, you will have two options. Either you can download a MSI file or a zip file. So I will prefer zip. We need to download WinUtils from one of the github file click here and click on download zip so this is required for running hadoop in windows once you have downloaded hadoop java and winutils we can start the hadoop setup go to c and create a folder with the name hadoop copy the files to this folder hadoop in order to extract Hadoop, you will need a software called WinRare. You can go and download the software and install it. After the installation, so once you right click the Hadoop file, you will see an option called WinRare. Here you can click on extract here to extract the Hadoop files. After this extraction process is completed, in a similar way you can extract Java. and WinUtils also. Once the extraction process is completed, you can rename the Java folder to something called Java for easy access. The next step is to copy the contents of the bin folder from the WinUtils in order to do this, you need to know the Hadoop version. So for us, we are using Hadoop 2.9.2. .2. So you can open that folder and copy the contents of the bin. Come back to the Hadoop folder and go to bin, delete whatever is existing contents and paste which we copied from the bin utils folder. Once this is done, this ensures that Hadoop can run smoothly in Windows. The next step is to set the system variables and set the path. Click on start, search env and click on edit the system environment variables. In this dialog box, click on environment variables. We need to add all the variables inside the system variables. So click on new, go back to the document. So we'll first set the Hadoop home. The path we need to provide is the path of our Hadoop installation. To get the path, go to C drive, go to the Hadoop folder, click on Hadoop 2.9.2 .2 and click on the address bar and you can copy the path from here and replace the path 
in the variable value. Similarly, we need to add path for Hadoop conf directory. Click on new and replace the exact same value from this document. Next, we'll add Java home path. So you can again find the path, go to the Java installation directory and copy the path from here. If you have created the path based on this video, you can use the same path. So next, the path for Hadoop temp directory, create a new variable. So you can use the same path as here. Once this is done, we need to modify the path, double click on the path here and add these three entries by clicking on the new button. So we need to add Hadoop home slash bin, Java home slash bin, and Hadoop home slash sbin. So this will ensure that all the path related to Java and Hadoop are working. In order to do a verification, you can open command prompt and type Java version so if you get this output open jdk version 11.0.26 we can ensure that java is installed correctly so this ensures that hadoop and java path is set properly next we'll update the hadoop configuration file copy the contents inside htfs site.xml from configuration tag to slash configuration, copy this, open the Hadoop folder, go to 2.9.2 etc Hadoop, here you will have all the port files, open hdfs site.xml in a notepad and replace the content of configuration. Here we need to specify the name node and data node path. So this path should be according to your installation. So in my case, it is under C Hadoop 2.9.2 uh, data name node. So we need to create these two folders. So once you have done, save it. Next, copy the contents of course site.xml. Open course site.xml. Replace the configuration. Similarly, next you can copy the contents for map site.xml. The map site.xml file, you need to rename it. You need to rename to map site.xml, then right click and open it and replace the configuration tag here. Similarly, you can copy for the yarn site.xml. The same location, you will have the yarn site.xml file. Open it and paste the contents here. So this will end the configuration of all the four files. So the next step is to format the name node. So before that, we will need to create the folders. You can come to the base Hadoop folder. Inside Hadoop, create a new folder with the name data. Inside that, create two more folders with the name data node and name node.
once we are done with this click on start type cmd right click the command prompt and run as administrator so here you have to type the command hdfs name node hyphen format So you should get a message like this name node has been successfully formatted so once this is done you can go to the next step to start all the hadoop services so to start the services in the same prompt you can type start all dot cmd so this should start four to five processes in order to check if all the process is running so you need to come to the same command prompt where we started this and type jps so you should see that these four process should be there node manager name node data node resource manager if you uh, do not find any one of these then your hadoop programs may not run correctly at this point hadoop has started successfully now we can try to run a sample program to run a sample program i have created a folder called hadoop in my desktop inside that i have created a sample program called wordcount.java this is a very basic program for hadoop which can count the number of words in a file in the same directory we also need a input.txt file which contains some sample words for analysis once you have created both these files the next step is to compile wordcount.java file and then create a jar file from that the command for that is java c class path you need to include all the class path and then finally the name of the file so in your case if you want to try any other program you can replace the name with the other file name so you can copy it from here so at the same path you can click cmd to open a command prompt here you can paste the java c command and click enter so this will create all the class files related to this you can see here three class files has been created the next step is to create a jar file so for that the command is jar minus cbf a name for the jar file and all the classes we need to include so in this case star dot class means whatever is available in that folder with the dot class extension which we considered so you can copy this and execute from the same command form so now if you come back and check the folder a jar file called word count has been created next we can see how to run this in hadoop so in order to do so we need to first create a sample directory called input copy the first command and paste it and execute it click enter this has created the directory input in the hadoop file system so the next step is to copy your the input file click enter so now the file has been copied once this is completed you can verify this in browser also you can open a browser go to the location localhost 50070 go to utilities and click on browse the file system now you can see here a directory name called input has been created you can click on it here you can see your file input.txt being uploaded here now we will execute this program the syntax is hadoop jar the name of the jar file which we created the name of the program the source and the destination where we need to 
copy the output so you can copy this command paste it and click enter now you can see that the job has started running currently the map is 0 reduce is 0 so first it will map to 100% then it will reduce 100% with that the program will end Once the execution is done, we can check the output. The format to check the output is HDFS, DFS, hyphen cat, which is used to display the contents. Uh, the output is created inside the output directory in the file part R000. You can also verify this in your browser. You come back, browse the file system. You can see here the output directory is created. You can click on that. So you can see here the part R001 file created. Now in order to check the output, you can copy the last command. Go to the command from executed. You can see here that the file was analyzed and it created an output document which contained the count for each word. So here Hadoop two times, great one time. Suppose you want to run another program, the changes which you might need to do is the name of the input directory, the name of the output directory. So if you change the output directory here, then uh, you need to change the name of the directory here. Thank you for patiently watching this video.